that's what you click for. Um, so once you have it downloaded, open up this, it'll run this file. I'll end up just minimizing that so you can just minimize this. Um, it'll load up a screen like this. Uh, I You'll just have default. I do a couple other things. Uh, first things first, click this little gear thing. It'll open up a little text document like this. There's a couple features in here that people sometimes use. You'll scroll down through here. Um, one of them is um, your pit stall countdown. And the other is your pit road speeding. So this line right here sounds pit countdown. Yes. Um, I think it's on by default. I actually like using it, so leave it yes. You'll see I have volume at 90. I just turned the volume down a little bit. You can set it when it's going to, how many stalls away it's going to start doing a countdown. Um, so it's actually pretty cool. A lot of people use it. It's definitely helpful. Helps you uh, just kind of find your pit stall when there's a lot of cars and whatnot. Um, if you let me see where the other one okay like literally almost right below it there's uh this right here sounds pit speed limit equals yes um i think this is off by default i turned it on essentially it will beep if you're speeding or as you're entering pit road i think i've changed a couple of the volumes and the the rates and whatnot um but that's also useful to just use in the background. Um, but to the main part, you'll uh, look, I think when you first load it, you'll have no check marks in any of these columns. Uh, and then all these will be check marked. Um, and there's a lot of different, these are like the main overlays and then you have individual widgets you can do. Um, the one I use is NASCAR Digital Dash. You can see where I have it set for transparent and then I have it load on startup. So load on startup will be um, when you load the game, it's going to load it. For mine, it only shows when I'm in the car. So when I'm in the garage, it's not going to be there. Transparent will give it a transparent background. Um, let's see if I can just click it and it'll load it. I don't know if it will because I'm not in the game. Yeah. Oh, there you go. So I turned it on for not connected. So this is what it'll generally look like. Um, and you can tinker around with these. You can go and resize it. So initially, I would do it frame instead of transparent. That lets you have a box around it. it lets you resize it pretty easily. Uh, once you have it the size you want, just click back transparent. It'll make it this. Um, so I use that, and I use the main one I use. It's one of the widgets. It's text. I think it's brake bias. Uh, if you're one that changes brake bias at all, so this one here. Um, and what I actually do, let me go to not connected. You'll see it here. I actually put it right here on my dash so it kind of fits in this little box. It looks like it belongs on there. Um, and that's really it. Those are the main ones. There's a lot of different widgets and overlays and stuff in here. Um, and you can resize them how you want, move them all around the screen. Um, important thing after you like just moved it around and you're in the game, just make sure you click away off of it somewhere in the game. That way it recognizes you're back in the game. Otherwise it'll be potentially focused on the, the overlay itself and like hotkeys like pity, and exit, and whatnot may not work. So just click away from the screen. Uh, I think that's it. Let me know if you have questions.